Hello guys, welcome back to part 2 of how to add comments to Wix dynamic page. Today we're going to be adding the repeater down here and a number count of the repeater. And we're going to create a data set too. Alright, let's go. So first of all, we want to add a repeater. For the comment section so at this point you want to like arrange the repeater according to what you want or like change the layout to literally anything you want it to be because it's Wix so that's what I'm doing at this point right now you could fast forward the video if you've already done this Okay, so now I'm done with my own layout. If you want to use this layout, you're free to use it. Wait a minute, I'm just gonna make it, I'm gonna attach it to the strip. Okay, so next I wanna add a line to divide the repeater from the impute section. So I'm gonna make this line yellow. Cause that's my theme. And I'm gonna duplicate it and put it like right beyond, right like after the this side, this section, this section. Guys, this is a choice, you don't have to do this. It's not equal, but whatever. So, now we wanna add a counter, a counter for the text to show how many comments are on the page. So we're gonna add a button, sorry, a text. Guys, I'm too lazy to do this. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna name this comments. It's gonna be like zero comments already. But, well, what happened here? Zero comments. Why is this tiny? I hate railway guys. I'm gonna put feature. Okay, so I'm basically done adding these zero comments. Wait a minute, this looks so tiny. I'm gonna make this like 25. Thirty. Oh, twenty-five is gonna be it, and this is gonna be. Eh, I'm gonna leave it this. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it like yeah, yeah. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is create a um a data set, a collection. Sorry, I like the collection there. Yeah, so we're gonna create a collection. So we're gonna do, oops, we're gonna do this. We're gonna create a new collection and name this comments. Just look at the ID comments. Just put everything in small letter and custom use. Who can read? Anyone who can create content for this collection? Site member. Who can update content? Site member. Who can delete? Site member. And set create uh, set and create collection. Okay, 
even so now we're not gonna we're gonna change his title we're gonna say comment this is the comment the user added so now we're gonna add ID we're gonna add current user ID say just in case so we're gonna add page ID text then we're gonna add page reference yeah we're gonna add page reference and we're gonna put in a reference and choose the dynamic page you want choose the collection you want so I'm gonna choose music because that's the dynamic page I'm using and I'm gonna choose member reference so I'm gonna reference to the current member and then private members data okay so the reason I'm referencing to collections is because if a user updates his profile picture or his name is gonna update in the comment section too and you don't want it to just like stay the same because maybe the user might want to change the name but in the comment section it's gonna say the old name he's been using and it's not gonna change so that's the reason I'm referencing so it's gonna update when the user updates anytime the user updates okay so the other version was think outside the box version that was just just paste everything in the collection but reference is a more advanced collection feature you can't be a beginner and know how to use reference I mean it looks easy because you know how to do it so I'm gonna make this I'm gonna make current user no sorry I'm gonna make page ID primary and I, I don't need this at all I'm gonna delete the title. So now we we're basically done creating the comments. That is set collection. <laughs> collection, sorry guys. Okay, so then I'm gonna add content manager. That is set settings. I'm lagging this thing so bad. Well, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna link it in the comments. Read only. I'm gonna show like 10. Yeah, so then I'm gonna link the repeater. I'm gonna link the repeater to the comment data set. Comment data set and the image is gonna connect to not page reference, but this reference, member reference. So it's gonna connect to picture. The alt text is gonna connect. Um, connect. Sorry. To art to nickname. Sorry. Then two tip nickname. I was gonna say artist name because I use artist. Okay. So what I just noticed, you cannot link a picture to a members page from the automatically generated members area. So, you know, there's always a think outside the box way of doing it. So, and you're gonna need code, obviously. So, I'm gonna do that in part three when I'm gonna start using code for the comment section. Okay, so we're gonna leave the link for now. So, now we're gonna, gonna connect the text. Then we're gonna connect the text to nickname. This text to date, created date, medium date. Now we're gonna connect this text to, oh, sorry, comment. Now background, I usually leave background white, but I wanna show you could actually connect it to like the, the members profile. 
So for example, I'm gonna change the background. I'm gonna put an image. This is gonna be the default image. I'm gonna just put this. So now I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna go to settings. I, want, I don't want it like show, like fully. I wanna put it like 10. And I'm gonna say 30. So like it shows, but like it shows white too. So I'm gonna save that. And I'm gonna preview the site. Oops, I accidentally connected this to data. This is why you don't be lazy, guys. Okay. I'm gonna save it. Now I'm gonna say zero comments. Now, as you can see, there's no repeated, there's no repeated because there's no comment on the data set. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make an example. I'm gonna go to the collection and add and add an item so I'm gonna go to add comment I'm gonna say nice word I love it and current user ID I'm gonna leave that right now page reference I'm gonna say yeah it can be anyone because it really doesn't matter right now and this is me the member reference so I'm gonna show you guys how to add add a reference from the code so now if you see I have like a comment nice work I love it but if you notice the picture background is a little bit too much like you don't want that to happen like you want it to be you want you don't want it to like close the the um the letter you wrote. So I'm gonna make this like a little bit darker. No sorry, change background. I'm gonna say twenty. Yeah, twenty was okay. I don't know why. Then I'm gonna save me. Then and I'm gonna preview. So if you can see, this is just commenting as. And if you notice, I mean, it changed, but not that much. You can just set it to whatever you want, okay? So guys, that is it for part two. We created the collection, the repeater, and the comments. This is gonna say zero comments right now. And in part three, we're gonna actually start doing coding. Bye.